Hello and welcome to this Twinmotion 2018 tutorial. Today, we'll explain how to connect an HTC Vive with Twinmotion. To begin, the first step is to download a software that allows you to install and configure your Vive. By searching for HTC Vive setup on Google, you will arrive directly on the correct download page. Click on Download Vive Setup. Once the download is completed, we can begin the installation. Follow the steps. Accept the general conditions if you agree. Here are the installation steps with an estimated duration of time. In the first step, you'll see a short, basic presentation, such as the presentation of the material, as well as the recommendations for the necessary space for a nice VR experience. Then, you'll see the installation window. There are two software to install, the Vive and the Steam. Click Install to start. Shortly after the start of the installation, a dialog appears asking you to register. If you don't have an HTC Vive account, now's the time to create one. Once your account is created, or you have connected your Vive ID, the Vive installation is complete and the installation of Steam begins. A new dialog appears. This time it's the Steam account that you need to create. In the same way that you created a Vive account, once this step is complete, the installation continues. If you receive an error message saying, impossible to install Steam, Go to your taskbar and click on the Steam icon. Steam opens and you'll see that Steam is waiting for an approval to continue the installation. Click OK and the installation will continue. Once the installation of both software is complete, you can proceed with the configuration. Let's start with the basic stations. You'll need to have the two stations and the two base station power adapters. Connect them to the power source and make sure that they light up correctly. A green light appears in the front of the basic station. Install the basic stations in your room. Check the channels. It's necessary for one base station to display B and the other one to display C. Now, let's configure the headset. You'll need to have the headset, the link box, the link box power adapter, a USB cable, and an HDMI cable. Here's the description of all these elements. Then proceed with the connection and follow all the steps. Make sure that the HDMI cable is connected to the graphics card, otherwise it won't work. Now to configure the controllers, you have two controllers, two micro USB cables, and two power adapters, which are the controller chargers. Switch them on by clicking the buttons at the bottom of the controller. With the Stream VR panel, check if your accessories are correctly detected. Click Launch Steam VR. Now you need to configure your room. Choose what type of environment you're in. Place the headset in a location visible to the base stations. Place yourself in the middle of the clearance area and holding your headset in the direction you want to set by default. Click on Calibrate Center. Locate the floor. Place the headset on a stable surface and measure the vertical distance between the surface and the floor. Here, my table is 74 centimeters high. Click on Calibrate. The setup is now complete. To navigate in Twinmotion, you have the options to use an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. To use the Xbox controller, you simply need to connect it using a micro USB cable or via a wireless adapter. If you want to use a PlayStation controller, you need to download a driver called DS4 Windows that you can find on the internet and launch it before each use of the HTC Vive. Now you can launch Twinmotion and open your project. Click on File, Open Recent. Go directly to the media dock to get an interesting point of view that you've created before. Here we go. To navigate in your project using HTC Vive, click the eye icon at the top right of your viewport. 
Then, click again on the eye icon and select VR. Your VR icon may be grayed out. In this case, it means that your HTC Vive is not properly installed or it's simply disconnected. Check the installation. If everything is in order, you can now navigate in your project using the controller. It's also possible to navigate in VR mode in BIM Motion. Open your BIM Motion file, click on the Y icon at the bottom of the screen. A menu will appear. Then, click on the setting button. Activate the BIM Motion VR, click OK, and navigate in your project.